my name is Eve J. Siboni E. Alayon. And I'm Bridget Dale M. Sarate. And, and we, we are from BS Bio 1. Today, we will show you how to dissect a milkfish or bangus. In dissecting a milkfish or bangus, we will be using different materials and tools. So first, we have thumb forceps or tweezers, dissecting scissors, needle, exacto knife, flapper, magnifier, surgical gloves, and last is apron. So we have a medium-sized milkfish to be used in our dissection. It is important to choose a fresh milkfish for the dissection to avoid contamination. Now, let us identify the external parts of a milkfish by finding its fins. First is the dorsal fin that is found at the top of the milkfish. It is used to stabilize the fish against rolling and to assist in sudden turns. Second is the pectoral fin that is found at the chest level. The two pectoral fins are responsible for control of directional movement up and down or side to side. Next is the anal fins that is located on the ventral surface behind the anus. It provides stability and functioning of the fish while swimming. Last is the caudal fin which is also known as the tail of the fish. It acts like a propeller of the fish and it is also the largest fin of the milkfish. The body of the milkfish is silvery on the belly and sides and blue on the back. In short, it has a dark top and light bottom color. Milkfish or bangus is completely covered by small silver scales with good adhesion and iridescence. The lateral line of the milkfish is a system of sensory organs found in aquatic vertebrates. It is used to detect movement, vibration, and pressure gradients in the surrounding water. The milkfish have an adipose eyelid that is a transparent eyelid found in some species of fish that covers some or all of the eye. They have a total of 8 gill arches, 4 in each side of the mouth cavity. Gills are the main gas exchange organ where oxygen is taken up into the body and carbon dioxide is removed via diffusion. The milkfish has a small toothless mouth and a large deeply forked caudal fin. They have tongue for assistance too. The milkfish has an operculum which is a bony flap of skin over their gills that protects the gills. It opens and closes to help bony fishes breathe when they are not swimming. The next step for the section is to cut the fish from the anus up to the gills. You need to be careful in cutting the fish open from the anus to the gills to avoid the breakage of the parts. After cutting from the anus to the gills, we also need to cut the lateral line for the fish to be open. You also need to be careful in cutting the lateral line open so that the digestive system won't be broken.
Now, we need to cut a line from the lateral line down to the bottom of the fish to open the milkfish. So this is the digestive system of the milkfish. The next step is to remove the digestive system of the milkfish that includes its liver, intestines, and stomach. Now, we need to remove the heart of the milkfish that is located under its gills. And this is the swim bladder of the milkfish. Now, we need to cut this part of the head to reveal the gills of the milkfish. So now, we need to remove the gills of the milkfish. As mentioned earlier, they have a total of 8 gills, 4 on each side of the mouth cavity. The last and the final step in dissecting the milkfish is to remove the eyes that includes the pupil and the lens. This is the internal parts of the milkfish that includes its small intestine, stomach, liver, heart, gills, and eyes that includes pupil and lens.